Hi, everybody. This is day five without power for a lot of folks in our state. And some people who are sitting in the dark tonight say they have had enough. And how thousands of customers got their power back today, but still almost 200,000 are still out of luck. Let's take a look at the latest numbers. CLMP saying more than 173,000 customers remain off the grid. It expects to have 99% of those back online by next Wednesday. That's later than earlier estimates. UI reports more than 24,000 homes are still without power. The company says they'll be back in full swing by Sunday night. News 8's Bob Wilson live in Glastonbury tonight where one neighborhood is kind of like a tale of two cities. Half with power and half without. Right, Bob? Yeah, Gary, you couldn't nail it. We're right on the dividing line. This side didn't have power. This side had power. And for those who are looking across and have seen the trucks come through the neighborhood back on Monday, and all of a sudden the power went on, but it wasn't their house, people got a little frustrated, a little antsy, especially when they can see their neighbor right across the street brewing that hot cup of coffee in the morning. The sound of heavy machinery brings the Hardy family out from their dark home. They watch as CLMP crews begin to rehang the lines, replace the poles, and repair the infrastructure. This is day five. The family of four has been without power. It is dragging on. The hardest part is that school was supposed to start Wednesday and it hasn't started yet and is not going to start for our children until it seems like Tuesday now. Being without power the first couple days was difficult. Next couple days a little more difficult. Cold showers are extremely <laughs> painful. While they continue to smile and the crews do give them some hope, they have seen the trucks in their neighborhood before. The lights went back on Monday, but only for the other half of the neighborhood. The other half of the street got power. Uh, at first, that was encouraging, then it was disturbing, then it was frustrating, frustrating <laughs> and then it was, it's, it's gone to rage. Especially first thing in the morning when you're driving to work and they've got their lights on. And, and they're drinking their coffee. And they're drinking their coffee. Yeah. Just, you want to kick the door in and tell them to turn their lights <laughs> off. Just out of respect. As you see a jumble of wires on the ground, CLMP wants you to know one thing. They have brought in more and more crews, up to 1,500 by the weekend. This crew over here, they're from Tennessee. And they want you to know that when you walk across lines like this, they may be dead now, but as soon as they start energizing the lines, like this one is expected to go back up in the next couple of hours, this wire will become hot, and if you're touching it or you think it's dead and touch it, you can be killed. When we were picking up sticks after the hurricane, my, um, I was like going to over there, and Dad's like, don't go over there. There are live power lines. I'm like, okay, I don't want to get electrocuted. I like my life. We're not sending them anywhere near any live power lines. They, power lines. they stay in the yard or playing at the park news is for the Hardy family, they did get their power on about an hour, hour and a half ago. However, it only continued down the block uh, a couple of streets and then it's in the dark again. So other neighbors now very frustrated looking across the street wondering when it'll be back on. They do have patience and as you could tell, the Hardy family smiling, keeping good spirits about them, but they say, you know, their patience uh, was running thin there at the end. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Glastonbury, News 8.